Our collection this morning is for Prison Fellowship Canada. Uh, you can read more about Prison Fellowship Canada in our bulletin uh, if you have received that, or you can Google it, uh, check out Prison Fellowship Canada. They do some great work visiting and helping uh, inmates and those who are transitioning out of the penal system into uh, the broader society. Uh, they do some fantastic work, and we have, uh, we have volunteers with that organization organization within our own congregation. So please uh, prayerfully and cheerfully uh, consider your giving uh, to them this week. Uh, next week, uh, it will be for the Weavers, uh, who are our um, Wycliffe missionaries at the moment, and so prayerfully consider that, and you can read more about them as well on our bulletin, and you can uh, also be in prayer for our December 25th, our Christmas Day offering, which is for World Renew. Let us come to God in congregational prayer, brothers and sisters. Father in heaven, thank you so much again for bringing us together this morning, uh, Lord, whenever it may be for uh, all of us who are participating online. Please guide us in this Christmas season. Lord, as we get closer and closer to the day of Christmas and the day of New Year's, Lord, we think of those who may be lonely this time of year, especially those who are in isolation. Father, we want to lift up before you uh, Cynthia and Fred. Uh, Lord, we thank you so much that their isolation is due to be over soon, and we thank you so much that their health is uh, continuing to improve after their COVID diagnosis. Father, we pray that you will be with the rest of our, our country and our area, Lord, as we uh, continue to battle COVID, but more importantly, O oh God, help us to rely upon you. Help us to wisely and discerningly love our neighbors um, and to care for them using the minds that you have given us and uh, the skills and abilities and, uh, and knowledge that you have given us. But also, Lord, help us to use discretion as well. Help us to be guided by your Holy Spirit. Father, we pray this morning, uh, not only for uh, Fred and Cynthia, of course, as we just mentioned, but we also pray uh, for Derek and Elizabeth, who will be moving to France soon. Lord, we pray that you will bless them in their transition. Uh, Lord, we, we ask that you would just give them a tremendous time there, that Derek uh, may learn and employ many of his skills there, uh, and that Elizabeth and uh, the, the rest of the family will just have um, such, a, such a tremendous time there. Father, we pray that you will be with all of those who are grieving among us. We pray that you will be with those who are struggling with chronic ailments, who are struggling against cancer or other diseases. Father, would you please pour out your healing upon them. We know, O oh God, that you are indeed a God of healing. We know also, O oh God, that you always heal. You do not always heal in our time, Lord, nor do you always heal in the way that we might prefer, but we trust you and we know that your will is good and holy and perfect. And so we submit all of us to you, our bodies, our hearts, our minds, our souls, O oh God, we submit them to you. And we ask that where you would, you would bring miraculous healing in the lives of people who are sick or sorrowing. Lord, where you would use medical professionals or psychologists or counselors or whatever you would use there to bring healing, our body's own processes, God, would you please do that? And Lord, if it be your will to take people home to be with you in heaven, where they receive their final and ultimate healing, Lord, we pray for that as well. 
In the meantime, God, while we are here in this world, we pray that you would help us. Help us to minister to all of those around us, all of those whom you bring us into contact with. Father, we think this morning of of Prison Fellowship Canada, and we think of all of those who are in prison, and we remember your words that, that if we visit people in prison, we are doing that to you. Jesus. And so, Father, we pray that you would bless the volunteers of Prison Fellowship Canada, those workers who go into the prisons or who who help with transitions out of the prison system. Lord, we pray that you would guide them. We pray also that these, our tithes and offerings, would be a pleasing aroma to you and that they would go to spread the ministry and the gospel in and among prisoners, but also among all of the people of Canada and this world. And Father, as we come to your scriptures in the message this morning, we pray that you would open up our hearts and minds, that we may hear what you would have us hear. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 